why I want you to have this story is very unsimple. Unsimple. I mean, forget the money. Forget the legs. But imagine that you didn't want anything to sit on. Imagine you were going to stand in or on the entrance of the motorway to is it Newcastle where you have this great vision of an angel never sit down but imagine you were going to run the next party and the establishment of socialization where you were coming up with the new idea that you weren't going to offer your public anything at all. You were going to explain to them very simply that by failing they were going to become great. And you could call yourself, for instance, Monsieur Binet. Monsieur Binet and you would be chauffeured to your new parliament which would be a make-believe parliament in a car called a, or made by the brand car butt this is a car butt built by the famous car butt works of a land which has been invented by politicians who want to remain nameless now take this we we won't call it a store. Let let's let's call it let's call it the thing. The thing on eBay. Here it is, the thing. And look at Timon for a moment of Athens. Forget all the Greek past. Forget all I don't mean the I don't mean the all this all this Rastafarian uh, richness of, of how we can become great by borrowing to become wealthy. Uh, what we're into is, let's, let's suggest for once that you're going to start giving your money away. What a thrill. Have you thought about, we won't call it Christmas. Let's call it the time. So here we have you buying on eBay the, the article for you're going to play the role of if you like oh let's just take an example for me just anything you're going to play the role of Timon of Athens from William Shakespeare written in about 1604 I haven't bothered to look out much when it's written and this person doesn't his play doesn't fall into any traps of being for instance a, a tragic love poem where, where the lover thinks that somebody doesn't love him and therefore goes off on a spending spree telling everybody that's absolutely great, absolutely great, now I can learn to play the piano. This is somebody you're going to be, viewer, that won't sit down. You'll stand as if at the entrance of the great gates to that place where they had the Crimean War, what that entrance to the Black Sea was at the Dardanelles. It, it reminds me of the great gates of Kiev that was written for the piano, and nobody in Britain could play it. This was designed, I'm sure, by a sadist, or composed by, by them, who knew what courage it took to write something completely different that was going to be so successful as a, as a defence for your country that nobody, because they couldn't play it, the great gate of Kiev, they would certainly never want to attack it. So why are we buying this thing, viewer? It's because you are thinking of giving it as a present for that next time. Now we, we have been careful not to call it by what time it is 
and we have been careful not to call the thing what it is or what others call it for this is only in your imagination but you're going to be the next Prime Minister Carbutt oh you are driving in a car but it packs up and you are still hoping to become the minister in parliament that will defeat the opposition benches and you will become you will become the wise one so what have we got to offer you Mr Next Prime Minister what we can offer you is the part of the director of Team Alone of Athens. We can offer you this part of director because you can live the part of Timon. And who is this character? This character is Timon. People are too afraid to call him Timothy. They are too afraid to call him Thea because it sounds too Greek. So they think up the name of Timo or Time Out Pal. And so what we get is the guy who doesn't fit the doesn't fit into the um, as, it, as as if you were going to sing something from uh, Pacini's um, aria. I can't think of anything offhand at the moment, but let's um, think of something. Yeah. Uh, supposing you were going to sing. Um, my, my something mama. I can't remember what the middle words are. And this is a passionate thing. This is where, instead of a tragic love affair, where you go off and celebrate the fact that your lover has killed themselves, this is going to be one where you realise that there is no, there is no actual value in being a lover. It is far better to just simply be the director who, like Team Owner Athens, starts in the most philanthropic way of absolute charity, the very wealthy person giving all their money to the good of other people. But instead of ending up with the rich pleasure that you will get uh, when you have found that by giving somebody the presence of this thing uh, at that time, you, have, you will find that as the next Prime Minister, you have become, instead of a loving person, you have become a monster. Now, by being that monster, viewer, you have become Frank Powell. You have become Frank Powell the dinosaur that nobody ever wanted to look at. You have become the person that people will never want to vote for. Now, but after that time, and they have got the present that they were all expecting, the thing, they will hold you as much as they are cursing you they will grow to love you because they will have learned that there is more to life than money. So what am I offering the next Prime Minister? I am offering a seat in the new model car bus, which packs up. What I am offering you, viewer, is the present for your lover to help them to truly appreciate you how they should. And they can then send you something and it will come to, to Frank Powell, the most horrid dinosaur. And then lastly, about the play that you were going to write to yourself. And you as team on, you go up to the director who has given all his money away on writing this play and producing it, going round all the publishing agencies and saying, what about doing my play and how much money have you got? Instead, you will say to them all, or you have said to them all, you can have my money, 
you can produce the play and there it is there it is done the next production at the National Theatre of the thing for the time of the forgotten monster composed, written and directed by Fernando Ray's unpaid servant the eBay viewer and you will have on your plaque by the side of the motorway as it goes either into the Great Dardanelles Strait or it goes into the great place that they call Newcastle where you think you're going to see the castle but it's not there and you're grateful that it's not there because you appreciate something far more than buildings far more than monarchy you can look around along this yellow brick road and know that you wrote it it is spelt brick with a K without a C it is spelt goodbye with no double O but a double D and you can remember that you became wealthy by choosing never to become famous never to become rich but I assure you if you are if you buy this item you have a chance to become Timon of Athens by Fernando Ray the monster that nobody wanted to watch nobody wanted to love the next Prime Minister the person who had it all and had far more than anybody else to offer because they promised you nothing and they arrived in the car but but on two wheels with a smile on their face and you knew that this person truly loved you and this person was your Prime Minister this is a message as it were for your next Prime Minister I needn't tell you viewer who it is I leave that for you to work out thanks for watching remember that money isn't everything the thing is not the thing about money at all it's not about that time it is about investing in the team on of Athens collaboration of William Shakespeare and Fernando Ray played by you pal thank you for watching I bow down before you viewers and I admire you all and I look forward to getting it but mostly I look more forward to giving it to you than I can really express goodbye yellow brick friends